you said that not being afraid to fail mm -hmm. was part of your mindset mm -hmm. going into the Olympics. I don't think that's common for most of us. I think, I think for most of us, we set goals mm -hmm. and there's kind of, well, there's terror right. <laughs> <laughs> over whether we're actually going to make that goal or not, mm -hmm. but you didn't have that. No, I never felt, I think when you're afraid to fail, it comes from, you know, obviously the internal you're afraid to as a person, but I feel like a lot of times, and I see it coaching and I see it then, kids that were afraid to fail were afraid to let down someone, parents, coach, whoever it might be in their life. So I believe <laughs> you can never be afraid to fail because then you can never succeed. And Why? Why? Because you're never putting yourself out there completely. And if we're holding ourselves back, we're never going to be at our best because we're afraid that it's not going to turn out that well. And when it comes to swimming or any sport or anything in life, there's always going to be more. Like for me, I swim the 500 freestyle. Let's say I'm doing it this weekend. If I don't go a best time, I will have four more weeks until I do it again. And that's how it was for swimming. There's always another swim meet. There's always another time to prove yourself or to get that goal. I think it stems from always feeling or I always felt and always knew I was loved. No matter what, first place, last place, DQ'd, not swimming, I was always gonna have love and support of my parents and my sisters. And I had also awesome club coaches. And I, it's, I don't know, it's just like, no matter what, I was gonna have a roof over my head, I was gonna have a meal at the table. It wasn't like, oh, you're not coming home with us tonight. You know what I mean? And it's just like, I don't think necessarily kids always feel that. Like they feel like, I see it and I understand, like parents w want their kids to do well, they want to see them happy, and that's why they always want it for their kids. I get that and I see that too, but I think kids misinterpret that as, my parents are only gonna be happy if I do well because I see how happy they get after they do do well. And so it's like, well, no, yeah, I don't know if I'm making sense. You are, you are because this is something I actually had to learn mechanically, you know, when I crashed and burned at age 40. Mm -hmm. In my book, I call it Switch, switch Your Focus, mm -hmm. but it's what you're doing naturally. And what it is, is it sounds to me like instead of putting all your emphasis on, I need to win this goal, yeah. Instead, it's like globally, my life is really good. Well, that's what it comes down to. It's like swimming is just a sport. Literally, it's like what kids do. And yeah, I got to a level where I'm competing at the Olympics, but ultimately it's a sport. And now just turned 29, I don't swim anymore. It's not my life. It was a part of my life, but <laughs> there's so much more to life. I'm like, yeah, it's cool. I mean, Olympic gold medal looks great on a resume. <laughs> <laughs> it's a lot to talk about. I'm, I'm happy with what I've accomplished. Don't get me wrong. I'm not trying to play it down. I know what I've done is cool. But I know that there's more to life that's going to be cooler. And there's more attributes as a person that mean more than being a good swimmer. You know what I mean? And to this day, my mom always say, be a nice girl. And it was always part of s swimming too. It's like nobody's going to cheer for you if you're not nice. People aren't going to like you if you're not nice to other people, so you're not gonna have people supporting you and rooting for you. So it was always like being a good person.